Hi guys, welcome to our next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss four more questions okay. that are very interesting. Four more questions that may appear in your final SSLC examinations. Okay, let us taking the blessings of Sri Sri Radhanath Bada Bhagwan. We can start our lectures. We can start our discussion. Jai, Shri Shri Radha Me Bada Bhagwan Ki Jai. Yeah. Let us go on to our problems. Okay. Okay. It's in four more question. Okay. Four more questions section. So it's the thirty fifth problem. It is an AP has five terms. Their sum is one twenty. Its fifth term is equal to six more than the sum of the first two terms. Find the terms of the AP. Okay. We have to find the terms of the AP. Here it is given that the sum of five terms is one twenty, and fifth term okay is equal to six more than the sum of the first two terms. Okay. Yeah, what is given is here we have to find first term and difference. That is common difference D A and D. We have to find okay the terms so that we can find the A B. A and D can be found using the relations given here. Okay, you using the given data, you can find the terms. What is given? Here it is given that it's the thirty-fifth problem. Okay, sum of five terms. Okay, sum of five terms. Five terms is one twenty. That is, yes, five is one twenty. Okay, and. Fifth term is six more than the sum of two terms. It is the data given here. Okay, using these two data, you have to find the first term and the common difference, so that we can find the terms of the AP. Okay, let us go on. Let the terms. Five terms be five terms B A A plus D A plus two D and here A minus D and A minus two D. You have to take the terms. In this type order only, when it is given to find something which is unknown. Okay, means first term and forward to that two terms and backward two terms. Okay, in constitutes five term. Like this, we have to take. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, this be the terms of an AB. These are in AB. Yeah, arithmetic progression. So it is given that sum of these five terms is one twenty. Okay, then sum becomes a minus two d plus a minus d plus a plus a plus d plus a plus two d equals one twenty. Yeah, one twenty, and now. Observe that yeah. we can remove the bracket now. A minus two d plus a minus d plus a plus a plus d plus a plus two d equals one twenty. And here observe that minus two d is there. Here plus two d is there. They can cancel each other. Okay, 
so cancel each other the result in zero so they can be cancelled each other and minus d plus d can be cancelled each other so only remaining terms are a okay a terms are remaining so terms in a it is 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 a are here so that becomes 5 a equals 120 then a becomes 120 divided by 5 equals 5 ones are 5 two are 10 5 fours are okay it becomes 24 okay a becomes 24 okay none then okay, we found first term and then we now for have to find common find common difference okay here it is given that fifth term is six more than the sum of two terms two first terms okay that is sum of a minus 2d plus sum of a minus 2d and a minus d plus 6 is fifth term okay so that is fifth term is equal to 6 more than sum of two terms okay yes 2 represents sum of two terms 2 represents two terms okay t5 means term number 5 is a term t stands for term okay then T5 can be given as a plus 4d. Okay, fourth fifth term is in an AP is a plus 4d and plus 6 plus here sorry here here the fifth term is a plus 2d equals 6 plus is fifth term is a plus 2d and 6 plus sum of two terms that is a minus 2d plus a minus d a minus 2d plus a minus d okay, here observe that Take the variables on one side of the equal sign and the constants on the other side so that we can find a difference. Okay. We know the value of term A, value of A that is 24. Okay. A plus 2D minus A plus 2d okay a even taken from taken to lhs it becomes minus a and minus becomes plus okay? that is minus plus 2d and plus a becomes minus a minus d becomes plus d equals 6 okay now a minus a cancels and minus a remains we have d 2d plus 2d 4d plus d 5d equals 6 okay it becomes minus a plus 5d okay how 5 plus 5d becomes 2d plus 2d 4d plus 1d equals 5d plus 5d okay equals 6 here we know that a is 24 okay from this here we know that a equals 24 that is minus 24 plus 5d equals 6 and yeah, 5d equals 6 plus 24 here it is minus 24 that if go goes to LHS RHS it becomes plus 24 it becomes 30 5 times D D becomes 30 by 5 that becomes 6 okay
d equals 6. Now we know a and we know common difference d. Okay. Now we can find the terms of the a b. Okay. As you know terms of the a b starts with when we know first term and the common difference we can find the terms. Okay. Here the terms are a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d and a plus 2d okay we have to substitute for the value for a and d so that we can find these terms okay a minus 2d is 24 minus 2 times 6 equals 24 minus 12 equals 12 okay this first term and it's 24 minus 6 is 18 and 24 and this is 24 and this becomes 30 this becomes 36 okay what answer J okay. is easy this first term is 12 and the difference is 6 here so we have to add 6 to 8 that is 12 plus 6 is 18 and 18 plus 6 is 24 24 plus 6 is 30 30 plus 6 is 36 okay then the terms are 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, etc. Okay. This is the answer. Jai. Next, go on to the next problem. Okay. Next problem is. Okay. The ninth term of an AP is one more than five times the second term, and the twelfth term is seven more than twice the fifth term. Find the AP. Okay. Here the data is given. Okay. When while solving any problem, you have to first note the data. Whichever data is given, you have to note that, and using which you have to decide. What is the way to go to the to reach the answer? Okay, to arrive at the answer. So now make note of the data which is given here. Okay. That is, is also a thirty fifth problem. The ninth term, okay, T nine. I will represent it by T nine and is one more than five times the second term okay and twelfth term t12 is seven more than the than twice the fifth term okay it is the data okay. for you the 10th standard students should know this verbal reading of the problems okay means the ninth term is one more okay one plus one more means one more give me one more okay we say no like that it's one more than the five times means five times the second term five times means okay use say no five times <laughs> it's five times means five multiplied by t2 okay term two times whenever times comes it is multiplication okay Five times the T two. Okay. Otherwise, you can also write as T nine equals T plus five times the T two means you can write T two for five times. Okay, it is also okay for you. T two. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five times the T two. Okay. So it becomes one plus five times T two. 5d2 okay. this is simple
it is important for you to note the to read the problem is an important thing for you SSLC students okay please read the question carefully okay. next if t12 is 7 more means 7 plus 2 times the 5th term means 5th term is 2 times here means 7 plus 2 times t5 becomes t12 okay. this is the one relation and this is the other relation using this we have to solve the problem that is problem is to find an AP okay AP means uh, as previously I said to find an AP means uh, and progression we need term A and the difference common difference D A and D should be needed okay. we want A and D this if you if you have these two we can find the terms okay J. Yeah. Now go on. T nine equals one more than five times T two, and T nine is given by a plus eight d equals one more one plus five times a plus d. That becomes a plus eight d equals one plus. 5a 5 multiply bracket how to close in how to open the bracket how to mul multiply okay you know this uh, expansion of bracket factorization and all you will be learning you had learned this in your previous standards okay? 5 times 5 multiplied by a is 5a and 5 multiplied by bd is 5d and uh, thing is, is take variables and the constants on two sides that is a plus 8d minus 5a minus 5d equals 1 where 1 is a constant and these are all including variables okay so a minus 5a okay it is also having a and the term having a can be added or subtracted and term having d terms having d as a variable can be added and subtracted okay so we can add this a minus 5a plus 8d minus 5d equals 1 and a minus 5a equals minus 4a plus 3d equals 1 okay this is one relation we have this, uh, it is irreducible Donate it by one. Let it be an expression one. Okay. Like this, you have to note. And the second relation is p twelve equals seven plus two times t five. That equals seven plus a plus twelve equals a plus eleven d. Is this term twelve number term number twelve is a plus eleven d and Two times the, the term number five is a plus four d, and that becomes a plus eleven d equals seven plus two a plus eight d, and a minus two a plus eleven d minus eight d equals seven, and that becomes minus a plus. 3d equals 7 okay this is the other relation okay this is another relation so using these two equations relations we have to go for solve you have to solve these two equations question uh, equation number one and two okay you know this okay <laughs> question number one is minus minus 4a plus 3d equals 1 okay. that is minus 4a plus 3d equals 1 and second equation is minus a plus 3d equals 7 and this using is solving right solving equation 
वन एंड टू ओके यू टू राइट लाइक दिस ओके सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन वन एंड टू यू नो साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन सॉरी हाउ टू सॉल्व साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन लीनियर इक्वेशन यू नो सोल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन सो दैट इज वी हैव सब चेंज दिस साइंस माइनस होगा प्लस प्लस बिकम्स माइनस बिकम माइनस इन दिस टू गेट कैंसल एज थ्री डी एंड थ्री डी थ्री डी माइनस थ्री डी इज जीरो दैट कैंसल्स इन द रिमेनिंग इज माइनस थ्री ए इक्वल्स माइनस सिक्स एंड ए बिकम्स टू दिस इज द ए एंड द डी डी कैन बी फोन बाय यूजिंग एनी वन ऑफ द टू इक्वेशंस ओके दिस माइनस ए प्लस थ्री डी इक्वल्स सेवन कैन बी यूज एंड ए बिकम्स माइनस टू प्लस थ्री डी इक्वल्स सेवन थ्री डी बिकम्स सेवन प्लस टू एंड बिकम्स नाइन डिफरेंस बिकम्स नाइन बाई थ्री दैट बिकम्स थ्री एंड डिफरेंस बिकम्स थ्री इज द आंसर ओके सो ए इज टू एंड कॉमन डिफरेंस इज थ्री सो द Okay, now the terms will be what? Now the terms are two. Common difference is three. Can be added as two plus three is five. Five plus three is eight. Five plus three is eleven. Nine plus three is fourteen. And so on. These are the terms. Okay, this is an A B. Okay, got the answer. So this is how you have to solve a problem. Okay, first you have to take the given data. Given data is given this ninth term is one more than fifth five times the second term and. Uh, Twelfth term is seven more than the twice the fifth term. Okay. Using this and solving, substituting the terms, uh, term for ninth term as a plus a d. Yes. You know the formula for nth term. That is a plus n minus one into d. Is substituting for n, we get this a plus n minus a d and So on this, okay. Get equation number one from our first relation, and the second relation we get two. Second equation number two, and then solving equation number one and two, okay. We get first term a, and the, the common difference is three. When we substitute a in any one of the two terms, we get the same difference three, and we get the terms in AP are two or five. Eight, eleven, and fourteen, and so on. Okay, Jai. Next, go on to the next arithmetic progression problem from the next question paper. Please. The sum of three numbers in AP is twelve, and the sum of their cubes is two double eight. That is two hundred and eighty eight. Two eighty-eight. Find the numbers. Okay, simple. There are three three terms in an AB. Okay, means three terms given is given data is three terms in an AB. Okay, let the terms be let the terms be a minus d a. A plus D okay. in AP. Okay. Is that in AP? Yeah. So sum of them is given by sum of them is sum of the three terms is twelve. Is twelve. Then it becomes minus two plus d cancels, and the three a becomes twelve, and the a becomes four. Okay. This is the answer. Means 
three fours are twelve, so a becomes four. And some of their cubes, okay, some of their cubes, cubes, individual cubes have to be cube, okay, cubes is two eighty eight. Then it's given eighty eight. Okay, some of their cubes is two eighty eight. Okay. Some of their cubes is two eighty eight. Means some of the terms, the terms are there. Their cubes, individual cubes is two eighty eight. Okay. So for solving this, by solving this, we have to find a common difference. Okay. You know, formula for a minus b whole cube. So the same formula has to be applied here. That is a cube minus b cube. Minus three AB, three AD here into A minus D, okay, plus A cube plus A cube minus D cube, A cube plus D cube, A plus D cube here, so plus D cube plus three AD into A my A plus three equals two eighty eight. Okay. So now I'm solving for this minus d cube and plus d cube goes cancels each other. So remaining terms are one, two, three. These are three a cubes are there. So three a cube minus three a d into a minus d and plus three a d into a plus d. Equals to double eight three a cube minus opening the brackets becomes a square d plus minus into minus plus 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 three a d into d becomes three a d square plus three a square d plus three a d square equals to double eight and is okay. Three a minus three a square d and plus a square d cancels each other, and the answer the remaining terms are three a d square plus three a d square. Here it is plus, and it becomes two a d eight three a cube plus six a d square equals two a d eight. A cube, you know, we we know the value of a cube that is four. A is four, so a four cube is six a d square equals two double eight. We know the value of a that is a four cube becomes uh, four times the four sixteen sixteen times the four sixty four sixty four times the three becomes yeah uh, okay, one ninety two plus six times four into d cube. The square is equals to eighty-eight. Is six times uh, six fours are twenty-four. The square equals to eighty-eight minus one ninety-two. That becomes okay. Two eighty-eight minus one ninety-two. We have twenty-four is the d square and. Uh, This minus seven, six, six, and sixteen. Eight minus nine becomes seven. Says eighteen minus nine is nine. This and then twenty-four. We found the twenty-four. You will find like this. This two ones are two. Two is a four. Two four is eight, and it becomes two eight is sixteen. Twelve ones are twelve four is d square equals four, and d becomes two. Okay, this is the answer. D is two, and a becomes four. Hence, the progression becomes. We know this all the value of. Using the relations we found, value of n d. Now the question is find the numbers. Okay, we have to find the three numbers. 
that numbers are a minus b a and a plus d so we know a that is 4 d is 2 4 minus 2 4 4 plus 2 that is 2 4 and 6 okay. these are the numbers the numbers are Two, four, and six. Okay. This is the answer. Okay. Next, go to the problem. That is the sum of third and seventh terms of an AP is six, and the product is eight. Find the sum of first sixteen terms of the AP. Simple. So, data given is what is the given data? Sum of the term is also 35th problem. Sum of the third term plus seventh term is 6, and the product is 8. Find the sum of the 16 terms. Okay. You have to find 16. This is the case. So we here also using the data we have to find A and D. Okay. So third term is T3 plus T6 is a 6. Okay. This is a given data. You have to write here given. Okay. Third term in an AP becomes A plus 2D plus six term is A plus 4D. 6 is six D equals six. Digging a two common here, it becomes a plus three D and it becomes three A plus three D equals three. Sorry, it's a seventh term. The seventh term is here. T3 plus T7 becomes here. We can cancel this. Yes, we can again we can write this T3 plus T7 is 6. This plus D plus A plus 6D equals 6. 2A plus A plus A becomes 2A. 2d plus 6d is 8d equals equals 6 and that is taking two common a plus 4d become and 6 this a plus 4d equals 3 and a equals 3 minus 4d okay please make a note of this data and uh, that is b push 1 and using this relation we are we are going you are going to substitute this in next one. it is next it is given that product of third term and their seventh term is eight okay that is the third term is a plus 2d and seventh term is a plus 6d is 8 a plus 2d and a plus 6d is 8 it is given and we know that we know here that 3 minus 4d okay. here we have to use this in this here A equals 3 minus 4D plus 2D and here also 3 minus 4D plus 6D is 8. 
जो थ्री माइनस बिकम्स टू डी हेयर एल्सो इट बिकम्स थ्री माइनस थ्री प्लस टू डी हेयर इट बिकम्स एंड इट बिकम्स एट एंड वी नो वी नो दैट ए माइनस बी एंड ए प्लस बी दर सेम आर देर सो बिकम्स थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस टू डी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स एट एंड स्क्वायर नाइन फोर डी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स एट एंड नाइन माइनस एट इक्वल्स फोर डी स्क्वायर एंड डी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स वन बाय फोर एंड डी बिकम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन बाय फोर दैट इज प्लस और माइनस वन बाय टू इज डी here difference common difference is plus or minus 1 by 2 okay. mm -hmm. so we have to find a here please 3 minus 4d and 3 minus 4 times uh, let d be plus 1 by 2 and it becomes Times and the minus two becomes a equals one. Yeah. When or a can also be becomes minus two minus one by two. That becomes two and uh, that becomes three plus two. That is become five. Yeah. Here we take a equals one and uh, that uh, we will find the sum of first sixteen terms. We have to form find here. We will find sum of our first 16 terms. 16 terms. That is, you know, A and D is 1 by 2. So, sum of 16 terms becomes 16 by 2 and 2 times A plus 16 minus 1 into D is 1 by 2. Is a SN formula okay? Go to n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d formula using which I have substituted the formula and it becomes 16 is 16 by 2 is 8 and 2 plus 15 by 2 and that becomes we distribute here. It was a sixteen plus eight into fifteen by two is four and sixteen plus fifteen four size sixteen that is seventy six. It is the answer. So the sum is sum of sixteen terms is sixteen seventy six. Here is the answer. So sum of sixteen terms is seventy six. Okay. If we found here. Okay. Let us go on to next problem. Yeah, is it's a very interesting problem. Yeah, it might trick you. Okay, please be alert while attending this problem. Okay. Please pay attention. Yes. Okay, now last but not the least. Okay, the problem is the cute, the peat, and the peat cute and earth term of an IP are A, B and C respectively. Prove that A into bracket Q minus R bracket goes plus B into bracket R minus P bracket goes plus C into bracket P minus Q is 0. Okay. We have to find this. We have to prove this relation. That is the 35th problem. This is also the 35th problem. These are all four mark questions. Okay, please note. Okay, these are very solid questions. Okay, boundary. Okay, you have to 
hit a boundary let us go to the problem that is given is dq qth terms are given pth qth and rth terms are a b c that is tp is a tq is b and tr is c c you means tq sorry tp come here only tp becomes a plus p minus 1 into d that is given here a that becomes what here because a and a are similar we can take here the, this a is first term here okay this is taken as a f okay f stands for first term okay a f plus d times p is d p minus d equals a and a f minus d is a minus d p let this be equation 1 and next t q is a f plus q minus 1 into d is equals to b and z as a f plus d q minus d equals b a f minus d here also equals b minus d q let this be equation number 2 next and the other that is t r equals c that is t r is a minus a plus r minus 1 into d equals c that is a of this sorry a of minus r and this is d r minus d equals c and here also e of minus d is c minus d r okay. is let this be equation number 3 <coughs> we have equation number 1 that is e of minus d equals a minus dp and we have equation number 2 that is a of minus d equals b minus dq and e of minus d equals 3 minus dr as a third equation okay. Using these relations, okay. you have to find, you have to prove that, you have to prove this relation, okay. you have to arrive at this relation, that is, solving 1 and 2, equations, 1 and 2 that is a of minus d equals a minus dp and a of minus d equals b minus dq following this okay. this becomes 0 And here it becomes a minus b minus dp plus dq. Yeah. That becomes dq minus dp. Sorry, dp minus dq equals a minus b. Taking these two on the LHS. This becomes dp minus dq and uh, here d is taken common that becomes 
minus q minus a minus b d becomes a minus b divided by p minus q okay. Okay. let this be question number 3 and another solving equations 2 and 3 okay. Uh, two and three questions here. Yeah, these are the two and three equations. Following yeah. them, that is solving a of minus d equals b minus d cube and a of minus d equals c minus dr is solving. Change the signs and becomes zero and this becomes b minus c minus dq plus dr we're taking here this on rhs is lhs sorry lhs that becomes dq minus dr equals b minus c and d becomes b minus c by q minus r this becomes equation number four Take next page and here the third relation we, we know we have two equations for d common difference and that is ratio of a minus b by p by q p minus q and the ratio of b minus c by q r r q minus r using which using 3 and 4 that is a minus b divided by p minus q equals b minus c by q minus r is cross multiplication you have to do cross multiplication here cross multiplying a minus b equals to a q q minus r equals b minus c into either this comes here okay, p minus q and in fact uh, distributing expanding what do you call okay, multiplying a times q a q minus a r plus into minus a r minus r equals minus a r and minus b q minus or minus plus that is plus b r equals b p minus b q minus c p plus c q okay. here a q minus a r minus b q minus plus b r okay. this here terms in a b and c are there so a becomes a, taking a common here a minus q r and here taking b common Here the thing is minus b and when it comes here also minus bq here so it is gets cancelled and the terms remain c is plus b r minus b p plus c p minus c q equals zero q minus r B R minus P plus C P minus Q equals zero. Yeah. Okay. It's the solution. Hence proved. Okay. What we did. 
we took the given data it is given that qth pth qth and rth terms are a b c respectively yeah. that is term number p is a and term number q is b and term number r is c yeah. using this relations we have to prove that this relation we have to prove okay. that is a into bracket q minus r plus b into bracket r minus p plus c into bracket q p minus q equals 0 okay. this is proved when using this given data okay. if I, we have to go through this data and the data given is term p that can be substituted using the given arithmetic progression formula that is for term number n is a plus n minus 1 into d that is a here n becomes p and p minus 1 into d here the first term is taken as a f where f stands for first term f stands for first a first okay so for so solving this and we get this uh, equation 1 that is a of minus d equals a minus dp just take this and uh, Similarly, we take for TQ, term number Q and term number R also and then using these three relations we solve these okay, two times, two equations respect, uh, simultaneously and then solving which we got that we got these two relations of D common difference and and that is D equals A minus B divided by B minus Q and uh, d equals b minus c divided by q minus r and after which after using these two the last uh, three and four equations okay, that is four uh, that is three and four okay. last this is we have four and five is obviously there are three of them so four and five we have cross multiplying which we get the proof yeah. we get this final equation okay Jack. <coughs> thank you for patient watching and please be in touch with the channel we can discuss more interesting topics in mathematics that have good probability in your final year, final board examinations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.